Hey everybody, it's Wyatt with Still Rolling. Uh, this video is a video on the rear replacement on the Kabu Wolf King. I have two other videos on this rear motor. One is uh, tearing apart the old motor and the other one is sealing the new motor. And this one is installing it. First off, I apologize for the footage being all over the place. Um, I started this project before the holidays and I got sick and waited on a valve stem and it just got all over the place. So again, my apologies. And also my second apology is for the brake disc. Um, I forgot to put it on and I had to go back and do that. And uh, that was kind of a pain in the ass. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. And uh, you guys remember, ride safe out there. We'll see you soon. Your motor is finally, the bearings have finally gone in it. If you listen, it's got some play in it. That's what it sounds like. Um, in my previous video, I went ahead and sealed up this 72 volt replacement motor. So I went ahead and already uh, removed the deck screws. So I removed the deck here. So first things first, I'm gonna remove the motor wires that are going to the motor and the phase wires. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just start fishing uh, wires out of here and whatnot. See if I can get a better angle of like this. So the motor wires run along the battery here. Also your phase wires are gonna be in there too somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of remove my battery and have it set to the side. I recommend taking a picture of your motor wires because it is not the same color coding. So on mine, it's blue to yellow yellow to blue and green to green. I'm gonna go ahead and pause and take a picture of this. Alrighty. So I have heat shrink on mine. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop them out. I'll reheat shrink them later. So I removed those. So there's the main power wires going to the back of the motor. And let's see if I can get this. And this power wire slips through here, it has a little grommet underneath the swing arm. There's also a little clip that holds the wire on. Looks like it's a, a little Allen.
maybe later on I'll have a video of replacing the bearings and rebuilding this motor. So I removed the little clip. Go ahead and put that in my magnet thing. So now I'm just fishing through the wires, fishing the wires out of here. And to get this out of here, you have to fish one, one lead at a time. So, you know, blue first, yellow first, and green. So now that the power wire is all the way out, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my axle nuts. And if you're wondering what this little thing here is, that's a homemade trailer mount for pulling a little trailer. Use a little flathead to pop these washers out. Go ahead and loosen up the other side. I like to use a little crowbar or cat spot to just pop the tire out by putting some pressure on it using the axle and the swing arm to your advantage. Okay, so we have the rear motor out. And I can just hear it does not sound good in there. But now I'm gonna go ahead and switch the tire over and also the disc i do have another couple other videos of me doing that um so we'll go ahead and film doing that all right so i'm using a star bit i have stars um, screws. I don't know what they came with stock. I've replaced these before. Um, it's okay to take these apart with an impact, um, but it's better to put your scooter back together with hand tools. Um, if you are going to use an impact, make sure you start the threads first a little bit and don't use the impact tools to, to tighten everything down. Just use it to you know, take the slack out of the thread and then go ahead and hand tighten it from there. All right, rear disc is off. Now I'm gonna let the pressure out of this tire. And the replacement motor did not come with a valve stem in it, so we'll have to install a, a valve stem. Go ahead and move this project down to the floor.
I use a hammer normally to pop it off the bead. Um, I've learned that olive oil is your best friend when changing these tires over. And also having some tire spoons around. These are just off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in getting some decent tire spoons for a decent price. But olive oil, I recommend olive oil like 100%. It's a game changer. But um, I get it, you, all, oil when you're working on something is not the funnest, but the olive oil will really help. Yeah, I'll just have a rag close by. Once you just get a little bit of that down in there. And again, this motor is already thrashed, so. And since you got the olive oil on there, the tire literally just comes off very quickly. Bam, so there's the old motors off. Set that aside. Clean your bead up real nice. We gotta put a new valve core. In the new motor. install a valve core before this is going to be a first i'm going to go ahead and figure this one out on my own you guys what's up everybody all right so i got the valve stem finally uh for this motor the replacement motors didn't come with them went ahead and installed one of those i am going to install the tire and get this scooter back up and going tonight, hopefully. So 
to get this tire on super simply and easy. I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil and some tire spoons. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the tire on the motor. I got the valve stem in. I'm just using a little bit of olive oil on the bead of the tire. I'm gonna do it on both sides. As you can see, one side just popped right in. Set this on a, another tire. All right, the tire's on. Did give me a little bit of trouble, just kind of sliding around, but got it on. Get the air compressor going. Got it set on the bead. <clears throat> Alrighty. <coughs> All 
Alrighty, so I just went in ahead and slid the rear wheel back in there and put on the washers. Okay, rear axle snugged up. I'm gonna go ahead and run. The old motor had this grommet on it for the wires entering the body. Now the old motor didn't have all these, this set of little wires. So I don't know what to do with that. I'm waiting on somebody to reply, tell me what to do with those. Probably gonna end up snipping them off. Okay, now that little rubber grommet's on there. I'm gonna run these wires. Okay, now that the wires are So, ran the wires through the deck. <clears throat> Don't know about all these little wires. So, I'm not sure what all these little wires are coming out of the harness, but the old motor didn't have them. I'm going to take a huge risk and I'm going to cut them off down in here. And I'm going to do it in a way that hopefully... None of them touch. <coughs> oh, those tires. Those, those wire cutters suck.
So I cut off all those little wires. I'm gonna tape them off. And I already put my shrink wrap on these. I do have to check my pictures on my phone to get the wiring right for these motors. And then we're gonna test it and make sure the so motor went works. back to my reference photo. Green goes to green, yellow goes to blue, and blue goes to yellow. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and power the scooter on now. And we're gonna see if our rear motor works. And it does. <laughs> so we're back in business. So now I'm going to go ahead and just start putting things back together. Um, I'm going to get my top, uh, my battery back in, get these wires secured, and um, shrink wrap my wires. Um, I don't know um, what this extra set of wires was for. Um, if anybody has any idea, let me know in the comments. Uh, this video was kind of hard for me to make because I, uh, I got really sick and I started this before the holidays and couldn't find the valve stem anywhere. I ended up getting the valve stem off Vora Motors. Tried some Amazon ones, they didn't work. Um, so the footage is kind of all over the place. So again, I apologize you guys, but hopefully this helps you out. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh so i can continue making these videos but i'm gonna get this scooter back together and uh, i'm stoked to be riding it again mistake everyone i was wondering what those screws were in my magnet bin and i thought it was from something else i forgot to put the disc rotor back on goodness so i gotta take it back apart and put the disc back on sucks but gotta do it All right, first things first, since my footage is just all over the place, uh, with the new motor, the yellow, the all the colors match. How weird. Um, when I took it apart, um, the wires were different, but I got it all back together and the motor was going backwards, so I took it back apart. All the uh, color coats are the same. And the wheel's spinning the right way, so we can get the video on the go now. <laughs> 